So the One UI beta program from Samsung officially went underway here in the US yesterday. It's given me a chance to check it out and so far I'm pretty impressed. Now I have an unlocked S9 Plus so I'm not sure if it'll work for carrier locked versions. I've read that it's been working for T-Mobile and Sprint but that's only what I've read so I don't know that for sure. If it does, if you've tried it, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. So what you're going to need to do to get this is make sure you have the Samsung Plus app installed. Once that's installed, sign into your Samsung account and if you're on the latest version of Samsung Plus, you should get a little banner here that alerts you to the beta program. Click on that, select register, and then you'll get a terms and conditions thing. Just select register again and you're good to go. Now I sat on this for a little bit hoping that it would just prompt me with the over the air update, but after an hour or so I was still waiting, so I just manually pushed it. To do this go into settings, software update, and then select download updates manually. Shortly after I got the update for One UI. That's it pretty easy. Now I'll go through a few things with One UI, but this isn't a comprehensive list, just some thoughts as I start to really dive into the software update. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice is the lock screen here is completely revamped. Notifications come underneath the time and the date, and they come up as little icons here. And to access them, you just tap on these icons. Then you get everything here. And then like always, if you swipe from the top down, you get your quick toggles, but they're much bigger and they come much lower. So it's easier access for your hand. It also looks like some of the stock Samsung icons here have been updated. Icons here like the calendar, camera, clock. Looks like almost all of them have been revamped here or redesigned. Same goes for the nav bar here at the bottom. And if you hit the recents tab, you'll also see that these have been changed into cards. And if you want to get rid of them, now you have to vertically swipe up. You'll also see at the status bar here that things have been moved around. The clock now on the left side, like Android Pie. One of the bigger additions too for this new UI is in the settings under display. And uh, that'll be night mode. And that's pretty much where everything goes from white to black. So not only do I think that it looks cool, but it saves a lot more battery this way as well. And you can see that night mode being applied in a lot of Samsung stock apps. And I also wanted to point out at how big this top portion is, right? And that's done on purpose so that these texts are much lower so it's easier to use by hand. It also looks like this beta has now added the scene optimizer and I think this is something that was applied for the Note 9. And it wasn't available on the S9 or S9 Plus, but they've added that feature to the phone now. You'll also see that dark theme applied when you swipe down for notifications or if you need to access your quick toggles. I know that they call it night mode, but I actually prefer this over the white background with black text. Now I know that this is just the beta version for One UI. You can see here that this is version 1.0, but so far from my limited testing, it seems pretty stable. Just be prepared for bugs or small glitches if you do decide to use this. Honestly, I'm really excited that Samsung put something new out here in terms of software, especially to accommodate these much taller screens than our hands can normally reach. It's loaded with a ton of new features, new enhancements. I don't think the official version is coming out until January. So if this is something that you think you wanna try out, I'd go ahead and register, see how it works for you. I'm sure that in the next month or month and a half, there's probably gonna be another update on this beta. And if they do put something out, I'll let you guys know and give you an update.